And just like that, water from 80 feet under the earth is pulled up through this well. And then from here, the water flows through this PVC pipe underground and over towards this pump house over here. And this is where we find ourselves in today's episode of Think Outside the Container. This pump house is going to house the pressure tank as well as the future water filter system. But first, we had to build this damn thing. Building my own shipping container home. Join me on my journey from construction to completion of my mortgage-free home on a homestead. With the electrical meter pedestal complete, the pump house is the last thing to build before I can finally move out of my old city life and onto my land, living temporarily in an RV camper while constructing the container home. And although the timing couldn't have worked out better in my favor, it really is time to start building. This is a two-phase project. The first day we're coming out here just to establish the concrete slab which is going to be going in this approximate area the concrete slab for this well pump house and, uh, and then in the next phase we'll be coming back in about a week once the concrete slab dries and cures properly and we're gonna finish erecting what is basically like a shed so let's jump in man these love bugs are out of control out here these are called love bugs or something they're attached to each other yeah look at that and they're everywhere Okay, so the first thing first is to find out the location of the setbacks. We're not allowed to build anything, construct anything within the setback 15 feet from the side of the property to the location of the pump house. Boom. We're going down. And as you can see, 15 feet. And uh, let's just turn around here. Our pump house is all the way over there. We're good. So using a bit of a sweep method, we're kind of just taking out all these loose things. Sort of anything that's not sand and we're kind of just getting it out of the way. All right, now we are getting the wood and uh, we're gonna go ahead and just see uh, how level things are, if even. To give you an idea, here's a 3D model I created for the pump house. As you can see, the concrete slab we're working on today is going to be 5 feet by 5 feet and 3.5 inches thick. And yes, that's the same thickness of a 2x4. If you didn't know, 2x4s are a general label. They actually measure 1.5 by 3.5 inches. So we're using this lumber as the frame within which we'll fill the concrete. By the time the model was complete, you can see there's quite a bit of layering and complexity to what appears to be a pretty straightforward shed. It's the same reason I created this fully fleshed out 3D model of the container home itself, including details on the ceiling and truss system, internal wall designs, foundation setup, and more. You have no idea how many potential hiccups I've caught thanks to this 3D model. This container home model is actually available to download right now. Just click the link in the description below. Additionally, you can even download the final structural plans and drawings that my engineer created, which include foundation layout, internal rebar system, and countless other details. Again, to download these items, just click the link in the description below. All right, so we're checking to see, obviously, if it is uh, actually square. Just a rough test here. Ninety-five. Ninety-five. Then we check the other side. Ninety-five. Ninety-five over there. Okay, so apparently it's square. Okay, now that it's square. The next step, obviously, is to ensure that it's level. Well, that ain't level. 
Let me see. Let me see how much rise it requires. That's like a solid inch okay. of rise. The sand is a joke. Have to compact it in there. Sand's gonna just spill over. Oh, no, no, we're done. No, sure. you need to go I, higher. I know, but I'm gonna make sure if it's gonna settle that it does it early, right? little support underneath okay so now we got these stakes right and these stakes are going to basically be used to provide a support around it problem is I'm pretty sure when we're screwing these stakes into the two by fours there's gonna be movement so we're definitely gonna to have to recheck the level Okay, so all the stakes are in except for the last one everything's looking nice and level as you can see so let's go ahead and uh, get this last one in here all right guys so there it is square level tamped basically looking ready to go the next step we need to Put the conduits we have various conduits for well and electrical coming in and out of the pump house so we already have our measurements in the model and now we just have to place these pipes in the accurate location so as you can see in the 3d model there are a number of pipes coming in and out once the well is drilled there will be two pipes coming out of it one for the electrical cables that lead all the way down into the well and connect to the submersible well pump and another for the water that the pump lifts out of the well. From the well, these two pipes will run underground and into the pump house and connect to the pressure tank. From there, the water pipe will continue through the filters and eventually out of the pump house and towards the eventual container home. I'll also have an electrical conduit over here that connects to the outlets and exits the pump house to the source of electrical power, the meter pedestal. All right. So, as you can see here, the conduit closest to the concrete pad is 8 and 5 16 inch. Maybe you notice a, a potential problem here. Well, the issue is 8 and 5 16 inch kind of rides close up on this stake. And so the conduit's going to come down and over and uh, it's going to be a problem. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move the conduits over from about here a good inch over and then they should be able to run right through here and not hit this. So yeah, we got a little dangerously close to that stake there. It's kind of suspended in midair but other than that we have ourselves a legit trench made there all right so quick measure pretty close to eight yeah basically 18 inch deep trench now there it is this should uh be proper if this came out right when i uh, put this in here in its final resting spot the center of this conduit should be six and a half inches from the edge of the concrete slab and it should be roughly the top of this should be roughly six inches above the concrete slab so let's uh let's see ah. right 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 yep that'll cut it i'm gonna go ahead and put this down here kind of get the rough spot of it so i can kind of then measure to see how long this uh temporary sort of extension pipe of pvc needs to be and then i can cut it off of the main pole over here main pipe so it looks about it's about a foot
boom 15 inch okay so got the PVC elbow got the 15 inch PVC All right, let's get the other piece of that uh, white conduit on top, 25.75. All right, so here's the thing. Now I've got this pipe here. So once you put them in there, how do they, how do I go about holding it in place? That's the question. How do I go about holding the conduits in there as I start to fill and make sure they're in the right spot? I'm thinking the best thing to do is put them in their rough location and then uh start filling enough sand in there so that they uh, start getting some rigidity and then kind of wiggle them around from that point so let's try that check it out there it is all right. So basically what I've done here is, because right now I'm alone, I needed a way to kind of hold these pipes in place while I start to shovel the sand back in, which will hold them down. So it's a bit of a rig but I think it'll get the job done. It's quite uh, precarious here now. Gotta be gentle. Don't wanna like go crazy now. Just need to start putting weight on it. I don't wanna dump a bunch of sand that's gonna make the pipes move. So we're gonna go soft. And gradual until it's somewhat covered. <laughs> wow getting that done by myself was pretty tough namely because there was just nothing to support those pipes so i had to create sort of a system to kind of keep them steady but man did it pay off there they are guys i mean straight lined up about two inches apart like i wanted ready to go basically so, pretty damn cool. This container home model is actually available to download right now. Just click the link in the description below. Additionally, you can even download the final structural plans and drawings that my engineer created. Again, to download these items, just click the link in the description below. Well, you guys want to see something crazy? Look at the size of this damn root. Shovel having a lot of trouble going through that, obviously. Uh, big root and right in the way of my channel. So, pretty annoying. Probably this tree right here. Or who knows? And here I am, savagely beating the root with a sledgehammer because there was no machete or other <laughs> good tool for the job a little tip don't use a sledgehammer to cut through a root well in an attempt to get rid of the roots we just found more and uh, they're pretty gnarly as you can see these are pretty crazy so the thing is we just keep going straight 
we're just getting too close to this tree here instead of the pipe coming straight out like so and pointing basically at the tree stump we simply turn the pipe turn the orientation of the out pipe so we got the pipe in there of course it's got to be two three sixteenth inch from the edge of this wood all right this is a uh, pretty intense stuff here but we uh We've got that side complete, the electrical on this side complete, and now we just have to get our uh, PVC one inch water pipe on this corner uh, finished up. Okay, after much shoveling, guys, pipe, conduit over there, two here, pipes are done. Now, moisture barrier, visqueen goes next. Here it is, plastic sheeting. Okay guys, everything set, visqueen, remesh, 20 bags of 60 pound concrete. Sun's coming down, maybe two hours left, and uh, we gotta get mixing and pouring, so here we go. A hundred minutes. <laughs> Now it's kind of about kind of splurging it up here, make it level at its proper height. Coming along little by little. We're about a third of the way through. Now we're close, guys. We are brutalized. It's getting late. A quick update. So guys, we were extremely close. We've gone through those bags of concrete. We are almost flush and full. And we're about to find out if I gotta go get another one of those bags. But you don't feel, yep, no, that's great news says we're flush we're not gonna eat another bag thank god I'm dead We finished the concrete slab just before nightfall. Now, the two hour drive back to Miami awaits us. In the meantime, the concrete will cure for seven days, at which point we'll be returning back to my land with all the lumber and additional supplies to finish the job.